Let's take the jalopy That what you think of me Fast and free A sweet thing For a freak fan But you said to me For one afternoon in April for the last six years, this institution has housed world-class jazz. We're coming to you from St. Philip's Episcopal Church in Brooklyn, and this is Jazzy Jazz. I can't think of serving no, but he put you, Lord, for all my life. I can't think of serving nobody but you. I can't think of serving nobody but you, Lord, for all my life. I can't think of serving nobody but you. Softly and tenderly. Jesus is calling, calling for you. Come on, help me out. And for me. See all the portals. He's waiting and watching. Watching for you and for me. Come home.
With me today are Ms. Cheryl DeBarros, Father Sylvester Taylor, Lytton Clemens, Sandra Harewood Cooper, Inez Lampert. And these are members who put together world-class jazz here at St. Philip's. Matter of fact, just this April, we finished the Gloria Lynn concert. And we're gonna talk about jazz, the church, and what it means. For the past six years, the members with me here this evening have put on Gloria Lynn, Cecil Payne, Houston Pearson and Etta Jones, and others that they've discussed with you this evening. But I think now we should begin, and one of the things I'd like to know is jazz and the church. Can one of you talk about the connection, the marriage, the relation, jazz and the church? Why so? Cheryl? One of the things that um, I think is so wonderful about having jazz in God's house is that jazz is creative. It's a gift from God. It's a talent that's given to certain people. And it's very spiritual. And so I find it not unusual to hold it in this space. Um, it has been one of the beautiful things about having our jazz program here for the past six years. There was I vision when I sit here and think of world-class jazz being held here at St. Philip's. I, I brings back the, uh, the Duke Ellington concert at St. John the Divine in Upper Manhattan. You get that feeling here also, or is this to, to duplicate that effort or to extend that effort even more so? Inez or Linton? I would say it's an extension. It's our own flavor that we bring from within this community, the way the people react to the artists. Uh, I was very pleased that we were able to put the shows on in the church because it just brings a different feel to it. And I think that's what has made it be so well received is having it within the church. It is well received. I should know I put, try to put jazz together every week at Maker Evers at Jazz 966. Are the concerts, and this is for anyone, are, are the concerts are, are well attended? A lot of our audience are people who have listened to jazz most of their lives. They tend to be in their late 60s, early 70s, but we do have a lot of young people who come out and listen to the music. Um, it's, a, it's a familiar sound for those who listen to uh, the Duke Ellingtons in their day, and it's a, it's a refreshing uh, place to have it. The venue is just as refreshing here. Uh, the community at large supports us. Um, Bedford-Stuyvesant has a wealth of uh, talent and we have brought people into the church who were part of the church. Cecil Payne was a member of St. Philip's. Uh, Walter Bishop was quite pleased to come in and play and be received by a community that knew his work. Um, so the flavor is not just the parishioners, in, and they are a great part of our support, but it's also the bed community. Um, we have people coming in from Manhattan, from Long Island, from Queens, who look forward to this concert every year. Father Taylor, how enthusiastic are the artists? Do they visit with you after the show, or um, membership? Uh, do you, uh, you mentioned earlier that you're not so well versed in jazz. How do you find the shows and how do you, uh, uh, you know, engaging the artists? Because these guys are, you know, a lot of these guys come up pretty hard, you know, so. <laughs> well, I've been here at St. Philip's now for two years as the associate rector here. And uh, I find that the, the artists there are very well received by us, and they receive us very well as well. Um, we have a 
good interaction and uh, a good working relationship with them. Um, it is always fun to be able to work with people who receive you and who really want to be a part of what you're doing. Here in this part of God's vineyard, we are trying to do so many things as it relates to both the young and the old, and it's good to be bridging that gap with um, jazz music. Um, so many of our young people are familiar with the beat bop and other kinds of music, and it's good to have that rich heritage that jazz bring to our community so that both the young and the old can can share and the artists there are always interacting with both the young and the old at the end of the concerts where we can share ideas and to learn a bit a bit more about the the music and what it offers to us the late Eustace Harewood who was one of the coordinators well, actually the, the coordinator of the jazz and made it a fixture here at St. Philip's past. His daughter is here, Sandra. And Sandra, what did Eustace go through? Was this his brainstorm? Did he come up with the idea? Was he a musician? Um, share some of your father's experience as we, as we built jazz here at St. Philip's. Well, I understand. Um my dad didn't originally bring the idea here to the church, um, but of course, once the idea was brought here, he ran away with it. And he spent many, many long hours, um, even this past year when he was in the hospital, making calls, um, making sure that the, the team was in place to carry out the work, to make sure the contracts were signed. Um, he was a jazz drummer. And I remember as a child, um, him having his jam sessions at home and the rehearsals and, and you know, musicians coming in. Um, and he tried to um, attend as many jazz sessions as he could um, over the years. Um, he um, found much pleasure even when he was um, very ill and listened to WBGO. And, um, you know, in the morning it was winds to find out what was going on in the world. But once noon came, WBGO went, came on, and he found much pleasure in that. It must have been cold there in the shadow. Didn't ever have sunlight on your face. You were content to let me shine That's your way You always walked a step behind And I was the one with all the glory While you were the one with all the strength A beautiful face to hide the pain for so long. A beautiful face to hide the pain. Oh, did you know that you're my hero? And everything I would like to be. Cause you are the wind beneath my wing
Might have a pair to go unnoticed But I have it all right here in my heart I want you to know I know the truth Yes, I do I would be nothing without you You are the way beneath my wings You are the way beneath my way I want you to fly Fly so high with me Fly Fly, I want you to, I want you to, I want you to fly You are the way beneath my wing Beneath my wing Beneath my wing You are watching wonderful song stylist Terree McCartney oh, appearing at the Mega Evans Jazzy Jazz Festival. The St. Phillips interviews will continue following the awards presentation. Hi, my name is Stacey. Come back home. The borough president asked me to come tonight to celebrate some people in particular. Now, I know that St. Phillips is in the house. Now, I don't know how many of you knew, know this, but they celebrate this very year 100 years of service. 100 years of service to God and to the community. I'm so proud of them. You know, Brooklyn is the borough of churches. Now, it's a rare occasion when a group like this, the college, Jazzy Jazz, comes together and celebrates one of our churches. You see, because church, gospel, jazz, all of this is just one and the same. You know that, don't you? Don't you just feel it? I felt it when Montego Joe was up here. I wanted to rise up and shout. The spirit was in the house. I feel it when I'm at St. Phillips. I feel it when I'm at Bridge Street. I feel it when I'm at my own church. You know, God is good. God is good. Now, we're going to be entertained tonight, so I'm not going to talk very long. But I'm going to give some citations. Uh, I'm going to start with St. Phillips. The October birthday club of the St. Phillips Episcopal Church and the church itself and to the family. Whereas on August 13, 1999, Megabus College hosts this annual Jazzy Jazz Festival, at which event the October Birthday Club of St. Philip's Episcopal Church is honored for its annual jazz concert in the Church Sanctuary, which gained great popularity and raised funds for St. Philip's under the able leadership of the late Eustace Herewood himself, a renowned jazz drummer. And whereas, give him a round of applause. Don't you know he's right here with us right now? Whereas on behalf of all Brooklynites, I salute the October Birthday Club for its fine work and for the concerts it has made available to the parishioners of St. Phillips. And now, therefore, Howard Golden, president of the Borough of Brooklyn, do hereby confer this citation on the family and the October Birthday Club of St. Phillips Episcopal Church. God bless and God keep. Now what, now what do we do?
Eustace rolled up his sleeves and got down and got these musicians in here. He had the connections. You know, he was a musician. But it's still going. Um, Eustace left us last year. He, he left us this... Uh, this year? This year. April. Okay, so... Okay, in April was the concert. He Yes, he just... He, he just, saw the last concert. No, un he missed unfortunately it. he missed it. Oh. Okay, now, who takes that on? Do we come with a committee now to ensure that jazz continues here at St. Phillips? Yes. Why? I mean, who does that now? I wanted to make you guys certain that this, <laughs> that this stays here, you know, in, in the, we find people to help. Um, well, well, this, Inez? well, we've named the jazz concert now in memory of Eustace. So we have to stay focused and committed to his dream and passion. And none of us that are left have the same connections, but we will be working together and getting as much outside help as we can to ensure that we continue to provide the same caliber of concert for the community and in memory of Eustace. The October Birthday Club at St. Phillips has been sponsoring these jazz concerts for six years. Eustace has us well trained. We understand what our job is and um, we're looking for new talent. We're looking to sponsor young jazz musicians along with the older musicians, people who are seasoned, but um, we expect that the caliber of musicians will be right here in place come April of 2000 as it had been in the previous six years. I can't think of any finer tribute to Eustace's memory than to carry on the work that he has started as a legacy. He worked very hard, he set the path for us, and now we can carry on his work. He gave us our marching orders, he was a taskmaster, he knew the business well, and I was inspired just by listening to him and working with him, and he has helped me get even more involved in the public relations and the promoting of this fine event. Our 100 years of caring and sharing has allowed us to reach out beyond the walls of our church to the community. And many times through our concern and our devotion, the community will reach back to us. Theodore Charity is sitting behind us back here looking like the sergeant of arms. <laughs> uh, we need to know the, the concert price and admission uh, procedures and, and so forth. Theodore Charity. Well, first I would just like to say that the vestry will certainly support the October Birthday Club as they continue to provide jazz in this church. The, we've tried to keep, they've tried to keep the prices uh, minimal, which is only about $20 a ticket. And we've also gotten requests from outsiders asking us to put on a jazz series of shows. I don't know if we're willing, if the October Birthday Club is willing to tackle that as yet, but it is something that may be in the future here at St. Phillips. One of the um, festivals that United Music Makers puts on is the Jazzy Jazz Festival at Mega Evis. And this past August, matter of fact, August 13th, we were honored to present to St. Philip's Episcopal Church and their jazz program this plaque. Uh, your first award, second award, you gotta be, maybe your sixth award? What? <laughs> Cheryl? This award came as quite a shock to us. It is our first and only award for uh, jazz, and we are very honored to be the recipients. Um, we're more than pleased that it has come to us in our centennial year, but the fact that we're being recognized by a group that is promoting jazz music um, really makes us feel quite proud and, and honored. And um, I'm just... I'm overwhelmed by it and thought it was just <laughs> the highlight of summer. <laughs> it was terrific. This is one of the new tunes on our upcoming CD. This was written on John Moody's birthday in tribute to our seven-year partnership. 
We are dedicating this in his memory. Catching the right girls that make me born and well by myself. Dreams that fade and die, weeping will her sigh so shy. Oh, why you're not here with me? You said you would be together. Riffing notes forever. You're not here with me. Jamming we would be together. Riffing notes forever. Stories fictionalized. Truth that fills my eyes with tears by myself. Wanting you to be standing next to me this way every day. You're not here with me. You said we would be together. Parting now, forever. You're not here with me. Jamming we would be together. Riffing notes forever. In the ride, tales that make me mourn and wail by myself. Dreams that fade and die, weeping will her sigh so shy. Oh, why you're not here with me? You said we would be. Parting now forever. You're not here with me. Jamming we would be together. Ripping notes forever. Stories fictionalized. Truth that fills my with tears by myself wanting you to be jamming next to me this way every day you're not here with me you said we would be together parting never ever you're not here with me Jamming we would be 
together Ripping notes forever You're not here with me Jamming we would be Together By myself Let's watch master drummer, the bandy man, Greg Bandy. He brought his students from Oberlin College in Ohio. Enjoy.
I want to just take one moment here to present one of my prize students also, and he's a drummer. How about welcoming from New Rochelle, Jason Brown, gonna sit in and play. So I'm the low fessor, and I'm gonna step aside for a minute, and you ain't gonna miss me at all. Now don't be showing up, man, because I still got that pin work on your grades. You know? This has been Jazzy Jazz. I hope you enjoyed the show and tune in again next week for a whole brand new one. Don't forget the Ghana trip. Take care.